Has anyone got any stories? All right. Well, it doesn't really work this because we were all together yesterday. So. Well, my, my I've got a bit of an update for you. Mm. I've got an hangover. Have you really? Yeah, and it's it's not that bad actually. I'm coming out of the side of it, but that's why <laughs> I'm over an hour late. Why? And also, I've got an hangover because I spent two hundred quid in another one. I wow. Intend to do. Upgrading your PC again, are you? Yeah. How yeah. <laughs> come it's every time 200 quid, it's no more? Because that's if I spend more than that, I start to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hanging a little bit in a light. Nearly throwing up last night in bed. Oh, yeah. But oh, I'm just fine. Cause well, when I came man. in, I just walked, I walked straight upstairs thinking, oh, I'll be on this PC. Walked past bedroom and it was laid in bed, cocooned like this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's it's lie down, didn't it? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of the What the Fuck? <laughs> what are you saying this scouts? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Gabstract Podcast. I'm Grant and with me are Aaron and Ben. Don't forget to drop us a like, comment and sub if you're listening on YouTube. And you can get in touch at gabstrikepodcast at gmail.com. We've got a few topics today, quite a few actually. We're going to talk about the MCU phase four. You were supposed to interject. I was looking at that. <laughs> Have you got anything to I'm tell? so panicky that you, it's not recording. I've got one for you. If you're listening on YouTube and you do subscribe, hit the notification bell. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, we've got a few topics ding, anyway. Ding. <laughs> we want to talk about MCU <laughs> Phase 4. A lot's been released at the Comic-Con, so we want to talk about that. We've got a few trailers, uh, including the new It trailer, Top Gun, Terminator, some news from that. And, we all, and Aaron went to see Lion King, so he's going to discuss that. And we've also got a bit more COD talk, so... I don't know this COD talk, so it's going to be interesting. Yeah, we've not had a chance to re- watch the video. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is a waste of time. <laughs> I can I can edit, edit that COD bit out, don't worry. Right, so let's talk about probably the biggest news we've got, MCU Phase 4. What do you think, Aaron? Do you want to get into this? Um, Let me just have a quick read-through of all the yeah, you films re- and you TV shows and everything, what we're coming up. So we've got Black Widow movie. Eternals movie, Shang Chi movie, One Division. That's a TV show. It's going to be on Disney Plus. Loki, another TV show. What if? I've not seen anything about this. Couldn't even find anything. Uh, uh, the what if is basically. Um, I, I, it's, that's hard to explain as well. It's like, what if Peter Parker became Captain America instead? It's like alternate universe kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, that sounds that sounds quite decent, interesting. Actually. And then the we've got uh, Doctor Strange sequel, Multiverse of Madness. So what do you know about these these things? So I've got a few notes here. Well, have you not got Blade either? Oh yeah, Blade as well. Blade. I saw Blade. Now that that will be good. Imagine Kevin Hart playing Bl- with a Z or Blade. 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 Not watch the old Blade movies. Yeah, um, yeah but I Blade. thought you said Blaze. Oh yeah. I'll yeah. Tell you what, I loved fucking Blade. Growing up, originals. So, I know they were like. Of Go- their time and that. Gore it, proper 90s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, you were too young to watch them back then. No, I didn't watch them. Yeah. <laughs> you just waited until you were like 20. I watched them, I watched them all yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, that first scene where he goes into the, that nightclub. And yeah, he's dripping blood. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking sick. Is that yeah, the bit where there's blood coming from sprinklers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good, isn't it? <laughs> God, I love Blade movies. What a movie. Bl- Blade movies were sick. And when um, that guy out of prison break, no, not the main person the guy was his brother was trying to uh i know what you mean yeah him. I, don't know his name. I forgot his name as well he's in at dc's legend as well yeah yeah him anyway uh he plays like dracula in, in third one doesn't he? he's a absolute unit yeah it's a right way that's where ryan reynolds as well but yeah um so eternals that's just the gods did i say about eternals yeah, yeah i did didn't I? Th- that'll be a really good movie that have you seen cast for that no i've not i've literally just seen the panel of What's game released? Well, probably the b- biggest one is Angelina Jolie. As. <laughs> I'll listen to it and they're just weird sounding, so I didn't write it. Right. Richard Madden. Oh, yeah. That was good. Nice. He was um, in Game of Thrones and that Bodyguard series on BBC. Oh, ooh, yeah. Rob Stark. Yeah. Uh, Kumail Nanjiani. Salma Hayek. Lauren Ridloff. 
Brian, Ty- <laughs> I can't even read my own writing. Tyree Henry, <laughs> Mad Dong <laughs> Soak. <laughs> no, and no way. Leah McClough. I don't know what most of them are, but. McClough. Are you sure you've written correctly? Yeah. Probably not. Are you sure that McClough's this. right? Yeah. M C L U. Oh, McHugh. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> McLovin. <laughs> now then McLovin. What's it about then, Eternals, basically? Um, Run through it. I mean, I don't know a lot about that, to be honest, but it's just, I, I know it's the, <clears throat> it's the gods of MCU. Do you know the, um, you know the, end, oh, like what MCU's built off with the Infinite Stones? Yeah. They're the original owners of them. Oh, right. I think. Not 100% really. So pointless. Yeah. We'll edit that bit out, don't worry. We're very well informed yet again. <laughs> so what do you think about Black Widow film then? About time, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Imagine, it's, imagine it's, if they recasted it. Casted it. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be right. Fuck up Scott Johnson, would be gutted. To be fair though, it's a, it's a prequel, isn't it? So they're yeah, going to de- use some de-aging stuff a lot. Props. Well, they can do a lot I, of that. I don't know, she, she doesn't really look that old, does she? Like when you're in, when you see people in films and it's a flashback to when they were younger, they use the same actor or oh, actress, yeah, but and they just have makeup, so they're able to do it for a full film. Yeah, yeah. Like more makeup. Yeah, if you think about it, if you put that red red wig back, red wig back on her, she looks like she is from Tony from Tony Stark from Iron Man again. Yeah, I guess. Not like not like I said, a bloke that's grow that's grown grey beard beard hairs and stuff like that. <laughs> well, you can just dye your beard as you as you know, you know, via experience. <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> Aaron has a ginger beard. He dyes it brown. <laughs> Just to inform everyone who's watching. Fuck. <laughs> you can you can even see it on the uh, the thumbnail. It's ginger as well. No, you can't have edited it. J- out. Just so you know, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my true self. <laughs> yeah. So Black Widow movie. There's Shang Chi. Shang Chi is known as the greatest martial artist. It is test in the MC universe. Well, in Marvel in general, like no one has beat him in an hand to hand combat ever in the comic books. Wow. He's like known as the creator of it, I think. Something like that. And, and then, he's going to have a dedicated film just yeah. about him. Yeah, which will 2021. be 2021. Which will be good. Like, uh, it's going to have uh, Mandarin in it. The <laughs> real Mandarin. Ooh, really? Yeah, yeah. You know that. They might have the Ten Rings and that. And I saw uh, in the reveal <coughs> at Comic Con, it was the you know the Ten Rings is like the organization in it, yeah. And these like tattoos and stuff on certain characters from other films. So obviously in the I think it's uh, Iron Man three where with the fake Mandarin, some of the characters in that, and then in Ant Man there's some characters with the tattoos what they've just like chucked in, and now like obviously it's to tie it in before the film comes out. Yeah, sick. That's nice. So. I love it when they do that. Do you know, like when um, just say they'll visit five movies ago, but then they'll show you from a different perspective. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, when like Endgame. Yeah, yes. that's why I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Nine point five out of ten. <laughs> and then we've got a couple of TV shows: Wonder Vision. I, I hope they're the same characters. Yeah, they are. What? Even Loki. Yeah. Tom Hiddleston. I think it's set, yeah, it's Tom Hiddleston, yeah. Sick. And it's set after, you know, in Endgame where he gets the Tesseract and he portals off. Mm. It's like his adventures after that. Think. Oh, sick. So that should be good. That'll be good. I didn't think they'd actually use the same actors, but yeah, yeah. I suppose they're going to throw money at them, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Well, it's the biggest fucking thing in the world at the minute, Disney, isn't it? So they've got money to burn, really. Yeah. 100%. I do have a question about Disney, actually. You mentioned Disney <coughs> Plus earlier. Is that like a Netflix yeah, alternative? That's it, yeah, yeah. So they'll probably take all their properties off for other streaming services when that's... They, they already are doing. Are they? Yeah, do you know the... Um, oh, God. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, that's yeah. the one. That's not going to be on Netflix anymore because it's going on to that. Yeah, they've, they cancelled Daredevil and uh, yeah, and some that, other yeah. ones as well. So whether they're going to recontinue them. I, I hope so because they were all right. Even though I didn't watch Jessica Jones because that would toss. I thought that was bad casting and everything in that. I've not watched any of them, really. Well, Jessica Jones' main um, villain is called something sort of like the Purple Man or something. And it it is is like some sort of alien. And it's just, it's just a guy in a suit. <laughs> in a purple suit. That's all it wearing. In, in, 
actual show. I thought, fuck's sake, that's wank. <laughs> After the first season, I'm like, nope. I hope they get uh, like proper movie budgets, though, so they're not like tacky and shit. You know, yeah. like some... like. Well, like they're the, going to have to uh, do that Loki, definitely, <coughs> aren't they? DC ones, like the Flash and that, that's Rage Cheddar, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> they will get big budget. You can pretty much guarantee it. <clears throat> yeah, well... That if they're trying to stick on the likes of Netflix, they can't scrimp. Yeah. Ne- Netflix getting some um, good shows on that. The like, only thing I don't like about all these streaming services is you've got to have a subscription to every one. There's Netflix, Amazon Prime, and then there's going to be this Disney one. Yeah. And there'll be loads more that come out that would work as well. Before you know it, you've got about 15 direct debits on go. Yeah, but that, <laughs> that's when they start taking over actual TV. Well I, well, I don't even watch that on TV. I haven't done it for years. Yeah. yeah. Me neither. Because there's that much on... Just I- Even if you're bored on Netflix, you can put anything on. Like, I'll get a few, I'll get a few episodes chance. If not, I'll go to the next thing. Yeah. I, I don't know plenty of things. You know what? It's pissing me off though that you get fucking this, that, and other. Oh, watch this, watch that, watch this. This is the best thing on telly. There's not enough fucking time in the world to watch all yeah, that. Yeah, no, shit. it's so There's shit. So, so many things I want to watch. It's like, like Stranger Things um, freeze come out, isn't it? M- me and Kate has watched, I think, half an episode. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And, and it's just like when we get home after work, we, we eat tea. We're watching it while we eat tea. And then after that, it's like, fuck, you know, we have to do so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm up to episode three or four. I think it's quite good. Yeah. Oh, I, I enjoyed it. It's good to see. I've not seen a single episode of that show. But what, really? What, everyone was raving about it and just never. Same thing. Same way you fucking. I'll, I'll be completely honest. I don't. I've still that. not watched Chernobyl. Fuck. I don't think it it's like lives up to the hype. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But everyone says, "Oh, it's amazing. It's the best thing since." What Stranger Things? Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's just, not the best. It's just good. It's yeah. not. It's, it's a good watch in any way. Yeah. It's definitely a good watch because it's just weird, isn't it? Yeah. Very weird. And you know the? Have you, did you watch the new Hellboy that came out this year? No, I watched it. Well, the have you seen it? Yeah. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, Captain Hobbs. Rhetorical question, though. Yeah, in Captain Hobbs in Strange Things. Yeah. He played the new da- Daredevil. Daredevil. Who am I talking about? Hellboy. Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> Delboy. <laughs> Delboy. Um, and after season two of Stranger Things. He went on like a year's worth of diet and packed on some right. I say he was fat as well, weren't he? Yeah. And he packed on some right muscle, um, f- for the part, and and he looks proper ripped in the actual part. And then <laughs> in this season now, it's like he's just actually sacked the gym off, sacked dieting, and had dominoes every night. <laughs> it's basically like me. <laughs> 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 no, so, but seriously, he's got he's got he's even fatter than before any now. Yeah. This one. Mad that how they can do that. I suppose you've got a natural body weight that you you kind of go to but then you've got to do all this hardcore diet and lift loads of weight i know exactly what you're talking about and then you stop it and you end up <laughs> looking like you <laughs> right uh, that was a tangent one that was a very good we tangent uh, one division of loki then what if that's like I told you, it's just alternate, alternate, uni- alternate universe. Yeah, that could be. Good. Is that a film then, or is that TV? I'm, I'm not sure. You know way more than I have. I've just seen the list that's got released. If, if I had to bet, I'd say it, it'd probably be a TV show. Yeah, like because diff- I think there's more money in it. Yeah, like a limited series with a different character every yeah. episode. Yeah, so it, it might. Oh, shit. Yeah, that exact thing. Or but it guy. doesn't help with that situation of not being able to watch everything because when they release it as a series, it's like every episode is like a small film. Yeah, it will be. You think about it, you go to the um, cinema and you watch a movie and it's like an hour and a half, tops. Maybe a couple of hours. thing is, when you go to the pictures as well, I, I see that as like, I'm committing myself to go. I'm fucking leaving house and all that stuff. When I'm at home and I think, oh, I've got this to watch and then I'll just think, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll do something else. Or, you know what <laughs> I mean? Oh, I'll go and play PUBG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or not anymore. Cause it's <laughs> well, then it's like, Hawkeye, I'm going to guess that's another TV show. Uh, yeah, I've not even written that down. I didn't see that bit um thor love and thunder yeah that's got uh what's her face in it she's coming as female thor i saw natalie portman yeah that's just yeah i mean i don't know like i say you know more than me but she that is a storyline uh, who does she play in, in it now uh doctor or professor summit yeah he's missus in her in it yeah she does become female thor yeah for quite for a little but bit i thought i didn't think they'd, they'd do that because they are obviously been slated for having fuck all chemistry and stuff like that, and like she's not been bothered about MCU and I'm back to do that. So, well, she came back in Endgame for a little pre- sneaky preview, didn't she? Yeah, but fucking, hell, it weren't like 
one minute clip or something like that. Yeah. Um, Black Widow, you just said that. Blade as well. Mm-hmm. Hersher Ali. That. Oh, he sounds familiar. Who's that? What, yeah. he's playing Blade? He's been in loads, loads of stuff, yeah. He sounds really familiar. I, I, I did. Was he in that... Um, Oh, I can't remember the name of the film. So oh, West Western Snipes got to play a cameo in it. He's got to, hasn't he? Now that he's out of prison for tax dodging. <laughs> <laughs> it could have with some income. Yeah, did you did you see the... Um, in, in, distri- oh, in incre- Not Incredibles. Expendables 3. Did you see, did you see it? Yeah. Well, um, it, when they filmed it, it must have just come out of prison because then in the, in the first sequence, uh, they all um, attack this train. And it's for a prisoner, and it's Wesley Snipes. Anyway, they they have like a moment in the middle of all chaos. He sits down and goes, "How are you doing?" He goes, "Oh no, what did you get locked up? Locked up for anyway?" He looks at um, some young kid. It might it might be um, Clint Eastwood's son, I think. Yeah. And he just looks at him and goes, "Tax invasion." <laughs> Tax invasion, right? Good crime, that. Tax invasion. Yeah, yeah whatever it is. It's when you uh, invade the tax office. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, it's so funny. But anyway, yeah, he, he he definitely needs to uh, play a part in it, hundred percent. Yeah, I reckon. Blade's dad. Yeah, yeah. So it's all the Marvel stuff. Um, one thing I saw this week was the Top Gun trailer. Bob, bomb. yeah, boy, can't wait for Maverick. Now, it, it, I think it was a bit of a teaser trailer rather than a fully blown trailer. Yes, it's and that's TV. intentional, I think, because it doesn't come out until <clears throat> summer twenty twenty, so it's a year away. Um, but it looks alright, and you know I rate like the original Top Gun. So hopefully yeah. this is going to be as good. I've never seen it. What a shock! Have you not? No, well, it's, I, it's when I was, I was probably really young, less than ten, and um, I was like looking for something to watch. And my dad was like, "Oh, watch Top Gun. It's good." And I was like, "I'm not watching that. It's from the eighties. <laughs> from that's basically anyone in from eighties must be dead by now because it's that long ago." <laughs> And no, I thought, they're oh, they're going to do it all the big movies from the 80s, I guarantee you. Like, early 90s and 80s, they're going to re- remake, remake or do... Or do sequels. Yeah. And but I wa- anyway, I watched this, what I thought was probably going to be black and white, because it was that old, and it was very good. And it's good, isn't it? I remember, as a young kid, I was like, I want to be a fighter pilot in um, Air Force now, because I watched that. So, now I uh, work in telecoms and stuff. I have to dig it out. <laughs> It is. It, it is a really good film. Well, one, one thing I did take away from I, I just watched the trailer. One thing I did take take away from it is Tom Cruise looks fucking old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's had his hair dyed, don't he? You can definitely tell yeah. he's had his hair dyed. He strikes me as a just for men sort of guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, trust me. He is. <laughs> <laughs> Again, from experience. Is he your inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you know the in the original Top Gun, Charlie, his missus. Yeah. The female lead. Mm. She will not be in it. You know why? Why? Because Tom Cruise. I know. I know. No one can see this, but Tom Cruise looks like that. Yeah. And she looks like that. She has right. not. She, she has oh, not. Well. Not at all. Uh, so what, let me try and find a picture. Yeah, Tom Cruise looks like. Right, he might so have had an easier. So time. that's her in the movie. Oh, it's the eighties, yeah. right? That's her now. <laughs> Bear in mind, we are talking thirty years ago. And Tom Cruise was 24 at this point. I know, and to be fair, Tom Cruise has been in movies continuously. I don't think she's be, she's been in much. Yeah. She's just not age well whatsoever, so she won't be in it. The, the but, one the one thing, you know, that you get from the trailer is um, one of the captains or some high-up guy in the Air Force is talking to Tom Cruise's character, who's still called Maverick, I think. Yeah. Well, that's his call sign, anyway. And he's saying, oh, you should be higher up by now, an admiral or something like that, not still flying jets. It's like, that's clearly intentional, because otherwise it'd be fucking boring. So he'd be sat behind the desk <laughs> going, yeah, I, uh, I approve this airstrike. <laughs> yeah. So what is actual plot, then? Because well, I couldn't the, get anything from no, it. No, nothing's really sort well, of the plot. Well, the, flying about. The, yeah. plot, the plot is unknown at this time. Right, okay. But uh, Val Kilmer's coming back as Iceman. Thank God. Yeah. I don't think he's aged well, though, is he? Yeah. Yeah. He, he looks not too bad, really. Oh, yeah, yeah he's not bad. He's still his airborne, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't have Iceman with black hair. Yeah, true. <laughs> Just some air, I'll do him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that'll be good. See, no, cause you, don't, you don't see Val Kilmer at all anymore, do you? I, I can't remember the last film. Batman. In fact, the last Batman. film I saw with him in was Top Gun. Really? Oh, well, last one, like, me with Batman, and since then I've not seen him in anything. But... Well, that's about all info there is available anyway, so hopefully it's good. It lives up to the hype, and it's as good as the first one. Um, 
visually it definitely looks better because obviously in the 80s yeah, computing when, power wasn't that good when them free ch- them free jets going on that mountain range you see them break sound barrier yeah oh it looks fucking mint yeah. where there isn't quite as much stuff in the original one like that yeah um Though I think I rem- I remember there's a scene when um, spoiler alert when Goose dies yeah. because it goes into the. the no, no, I'm not bother watching it, lads. You don't know. <laughs> you who won't is. remember this. Yeah, you won't. Yeah, but when I go on it and it says, "All right, Goose, how's it going?" I'll be like, "Oh, what fucking don't bother talking to him." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get attached to this guy. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but I'm sure that Jet starts spinning, and going out of control, and I'm sure there's a similar sort of thing. So it? maybe it's my mind adding it in yet because I'm so intelligent. Yeah. But what I want to know is, because I, I, I was thinking about it after I watched it, in 80s, like, they probably can throw him in a jet and fly, and somebody else fly it now and just record it as him. But in 80s, yeah. they can't have done that. So how the, how the hell did they record him? Well, Tom Cruise has been known for doing all his own stuff, is not he? he? Yeah, but I don't... He fought doing Mission Impossible. I know, so. you can see it as well. Did you, did you watch the movie? I watched it with the actual that. Yeah. You can see the actual bit where he breaks his foot. Boom. And because he, cause he climbs up off the building, and you see him hobbling off. And it, they had to f- um, stop filming for three months, didn't they? Yeah. I've been in the building where he did it. Have you? In London, yeah. Sick. So do you want to talk about it then? Have you seen the trailer for that? Yeah, it looks horrible. Absolutely disgusting. Have you seen, have you seen the trailer? It just looks like it times ten, doesn't it? It's, mate, right. I yeah. hate, t- t- I hate horror movies just for the jump scares. Not the actual creepy stuff. I love all that stuff. But the jump scares, that's why I don't watch them. Yeah. But this, obviously, it is like a. You need to watch it, don't you? Yeah. And when it came out, me, me and um, Katie waited three or four weeks. No, just just as it was about to go out at the cinema. Yeah. W- went to a late night show and I watched it. So, like, no one would be in in case I jumped and screamed like I did once. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, it were it were good. It was so good. So, I think we're probably going to go see it with this on. <laughs> Have to go and see it earlier, though. No, definitely not. Oh, yeah. For, for, for the pod. But yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to scream like I did in, Insidi- in Insidious and everyone laugh at me. You should all go and see it, all three of us. Yeah, and all hands. Yeah. <laughs> you two answered that way <laughs> too quick. <laughs> Simultaneous, yes. You will not need to edit that quick. That's the reason why I want to go and see it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'll definitely go and see it, as long as it's a cinema. I think the um, casting is absolutely unreal for it. Like, yeah, from the I child agree. actors to... Yeah, James quick. McAvoy, that ginger lass. I've got a name. Jessica Chastain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's. No, uh, the, they um, just look like they are the, gonna look when they grow. The old spa, the old Spice guy is in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but have you lot seen the new trailer for the new Terminator? Yeah, I'm well. Because excited. there's been some big news. The new ca- the recast. Yeah, Edward Furlong's coming back to play John Connor, and the and oh, Linda Edward. Hamilton. Thank Sarah you, Sarah Connor. I'm fucking chuffed to be fair. I think it's going to bring back everything. Just watching trailers and stuff, it's going to bring back that feel from uh, like Terminator 2, which yeah. is definitely, well, in my opinion, best one in franchise. Terminator 2? Yeah, yeah. Is that the one where he melts into that lava? <clears throat> yeah. We're, yeah. We're, classic thumb up moment. Yeah. Where were you spoiler alert? Yeah, he survives. <laughs> oh. Well, he obviously does because he's in every one. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, it does. It looks really good. Like initial viewings from trailer and stuff like that. So I'm excited for it. One of my favourite films. Film franchises. franchises. Yeah. Well, not what they did with it with fucking Genesis and all that shit. Yeah, Genesis. They're money Genesis jobs, are aren't they? Crap. Yeah. But you I'm, can tell when something's a blatant money I'm glad job. James Cameron's come back to co produce it because I think it's. Is that yeah, he'll, he'll Avatar it James Cameron? Yeah, but he did the original t- first two. Right. Definitely in like the. Right. Era of remakes slash sequels from old films. It seems. Yeah. <clears throat> well, not only that, they're bringing back films to um, like re-releasing in cinemas, aren't they? Again now, like Jaws has just come back. That's in cinemas now. Oh, not remade, but just no, the, the the exact ones, but coming back. Mm-hmm. But right. this this year, I'm I'm wanting open for. Uh, it's twenty years since Matrix came out. And it's one of my favourite films, so oh, I'm, yeah. I'm hoping they yeah, re-release I agree. that. I, I'm I'll, fucking going to see that in IMAX. If it they're making out. a new Matrix. Have you heard about that? I think it's... I, I did see that, but... There was, is it Wachowskis? Yeah, well, I, I don't can't think say Wachowskis bro- can't, are coming back. They are, because it's them two who announced it. Is it? Yeah. I saw that they they wanted no one to do with it, because it's... Um, oh, the actor. 
<laughs> he's playing it. He's supposed to be playing it like a young Morpheus, isn't he? Oh no idea. And that's what the, the only thing that I know, I've heard. Him from uh, Black Panther, the villain. Oh, Chadwick Boseman. No villain. Um. Oh God, Michael B. Jordan. That's it. Yeah, he's supposed to be playing. Morpheus. What a sexy guy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he can have my kids. <laughs> <laughs> But no, the other thing I've heard is whether the Wachowskis said, or will they just basically announce that they're in, they're in the pipeline of a new Matrix? Yeah, well, um, either after or, or preview, preview, prequel. I'm not too sure. Yeah, from what I've heard, it's going to be a prequel. With obviously, like like I said, Morpheus's story, which should be sick. To be fair, yeah, because he before <coughs> Neo, he was not the one, but the one. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> we need to calm down with these spoilers. I know, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Might as well call it the spoiler cast. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler cast. So, have you been seeing Lion King? I haven't managed, even though I meant to go last night, but we yeah, missed you, the showing. You should, have, you should have gone last night. Yeah, yeah I was failed. supposed to go on Friday night, but it fucking rammed. Well, yeah. we, we, got, we got a late showing, and I weren't too happy that it weren't in IMAX, but... It was still alright. Oh, you watched Scabby. Huh? I know, I know. <laughs> it re- it really annoyed me. So it's shown in IMAX 3D. Yeah, IMAX 3D. Ooh. I bet, it, I, be I, bet it, I bet it's good. Because it, in 2D it was good. So does it vary from the original? Oh, sorry, I should probably say spoilers. Yeah, definitely spoilers, spoilers, spoilers throughout. Now. But, but then again, this has been out for nearly <laughs> 30 years. That's what I'm saying. Is it literally <laughs> the original? Or is there any changes or? Is it Mini- like, if there's changes, don't tell me. Minuscule. Yeah, Mini pretty seal. much frame for frame. Yeah, I, yeah, the opening is frame for frame. Other than, you can see it in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. Mm. Do you know in the original way, um, Rafiki broke a fruit yeah, yeah. and then did put the juice on Simba? <laughs> the, the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, it's paint you the juice. <laughs> yeah, well, th- this time it's like some roots. It's like some roots and it's like um, powder that it rubs on him instead of It sandwich. makes a bit more sense, that. Yeah, it does. Not just gonna probably have be a bit more permanent than a bit of juice. <laughs> Here's some watermelon on your face. It's not just gonna rub off her out. <laughs> but no, it is. You can't compare them, obviously. <laughs> it was funny. I was just think it was it, were, it was funny enough to do, make that noise, but not funny enough to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, I was replaying what I said in my head, like, yeah, he put that ju- Rafiki put that juice on Simba's forehead. <laughs> <laughs> No. So what do you reckon they're out of 10? <laughs> out of 10, as in you're classing the original as 10, and I'm going to rate it to that. No, I don't think I, I don't think it should be stood alongside the original. I think it's different. Yeah, I, I agree. I, we, we all this kind of, like with Jungle Book when they did that as well. You can't you can't compare them, but then at the same time, you're going to want it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's like I, I went with Ryan Doss, who's going to be a guest, future guest, but uh, and his girlfriend and my girlfriend. And <clears throat> he he was like, oh, it's not the same cast playing um, like t- uh, Timon. Well done, you got it right first time. <laughs> <laughs> Timon and Pumba. And, I, and I, I'd already said, like, I don't, that, that's fine with me. But then also, what's the bird called? I know I watched it two days ago, but I forgot what his name is called. Um, Rowan Atkinson. Yeah, well, there you go. I didn't know it, Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean, right? But apparently it were. And throughout, I went for some food before. About two hours before this uh, Dorsey was going, it's not Mr. Bean and it's not going to be the same. And I'm like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. As <laughs> but, long as they portray a character in the same way. And so they did. Is it, is it, like, it w- you, do, do you know if, you, you won't be able to tell. Yeah. Over, I, I think the, the only voices you can fully tell is Simba, Na- Nala, Nyla, Nala, and Pumba. You can definitely tell they are different different voices, but other ones you can't. I and obviously, perfect for that, though. yeah, he is. It's it so looks funny. Looks like Pumba in real life. By the way, do, do you know that? <laughs> do you know that um, that scene that I was telling you about that I think might be like just a little t- teaser? Yeah, it yeah. weren't. It's in the movie. Yeah, and it's so funny how he, like he danced on his front paws. Like, can we keep him? Can we keep him? I'm gonna walk him. I'm gonna walk him. And I'm pissing myself. <laughs> Honestly, it was so funny because well, it's in it's in the cartoon. Do you know where vultures around it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did keep it in. And basically, the 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 sea is a lion runs off, and um, Pumba's Pumba's like, "Oh my god, it's a lion!" Timon's like, "No, it's not." I just like proper look because you know what? 
know what I think it is? It's a lion. And Pumba doesn't even realise that he's trying to take glory. And Pumba's like, can we keep him? Can I walk him? I'll walk him all the time. I'll feed him fine. <laughs> and all this. It's so funny. But then what we were worried about were how they're going to make the grubs and all the jellies and stuff that oh, they yeah. eat. It works fine. It's perfect. It's so good. They're just like realistic. Yeah, it's just it literally, do you know them um, stuff off of uh, I'm a Celebrity and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. It's just that. So it, it's so good. And then, I'll you, have to go and see it. And then the bit where in the cartoon, because Katie has not seen it. What, the original? Yeah. Wow. So this, this were, so we, we, were, we were like, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be ruined for you. To be fair, though, I can't remember seeing it as a kid. I only watched it like a few months back. Did watched you? it with Shannon, yeah. I think I went to the cinema. Maybe. I don't know. I definitely saw it as a kid, though. Yeah, I saw it as a kid. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Do you know, like I, I like the bit. Do you know when he actually runs off with uh, Timon and Bumba, and you got it, that down now, haven't you? Yeah, he's like that. Yeah, he's like saying that. it now. <laughs> it. Anyway, do you know Timon and Bumba? Timon and Bumba. Timon, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Isabel. <laughs> uh, do you know when he's walking across that log and they're singing? Yeah. yeah. Um, not Akuna Matata. It's the other one. The other, the other song in it, and like he grows up, doesn't he? You see him as a, yeah. as a, as a cub. I'm going to say pup then. As a cub, teenager, then grew up fully grown. Mm. And as soon as that log came on, because that's my favourite bit like from being a child, I remember that bit. I just absolutely went, Katie, this is really good, this bit. Watch it, watch it. What, you slapped her? Yeah, <laughs> I, honestly, I full on slapped her and, I, and she was like, what? And she looked and I was like, oh, look, it's a teenager. Now he's fully grown. <laughs> I probably went into like a eight-year-old Aaron. <laughs> oh, the nostalgia. Yeah. Your mic needs to go down. Thoughts? It's because he's there. screaming into it. That's how I got excited. Very excited isn't it? Yeah. Fucking watch it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but Right, shall we move on to some more COD news? Yeah. Um nothing massive, but um hopefully you listen to our first ever episode of the Gab Strike Podcast. And in that we're on about our thoughts on crossplay, how it would work, etc. And it's pretty much been confirmed. So how crossplay is going to work for um, this was in Forbes, a strange source for gaming news, but I heard. saw I saw it on uh, Independent. I think it was. Oh, okay, sounds like it is pretty much confirmed. Then is if you're on a console, you will only join uh, other players with the same input method. So if you're using a controller like most people are, you'll play against other controller users. If you plug in a mouse and keyboard, you'll play against other mouse and keyboard users. And the mouse and keyboard user can either be on another console or on a PC. Yeah. The only time you will join um, a mouse and keyboard lobby with the controller is if you join um, a party with PC players and it will force you to join. I can't wait to slap PC players when I'm playing with you two. Not gonna happen. I'll, I'll be on your team, so I'd say it will. Well, I hope you are as good as you say you are. Then. <laughs> yeah. Stop me and Ben away fucking screaming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm side down! <laughs> I'm, so, um, I'm sorry, but did you just see that? They were the biggest B, and it was ran like flew straight. It ran, did it? It, it <laughs> ran midair. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you uh, say if I on my PC if I plugged a controller in, could I join other controller players? Then? I suspect so. That it wasn't explicitly uh, called out whether that would be the case or not, but I'd imagine that yeah, that would be. Though the issue is with the PC, you're always going to have your mouse and keyboard connected to use it. So uh, yeah. if you've got them connected and you plug in a controller, does yeah. that actually count as a control input method? Probably not, because you could just put it to one side and use the mouse and keyboard. No, but if it disables your keyboard and mouse while you're using it. Yeah, they could get around it that way, which is how Paladins works, because I was curious about that, and I looked, because their crossplay works really seamlessly. Um, and one of the FAQs was, if I plug in a controller and try and join with control players and then sneakily plug a mouse and keyboard in so then I've got an advantage you, you can't do that you it disables it you've got a distinct advantage we're going to find what? out a distinct <laughs> advantage All right. we're going to find out in October anyway how big that advantage is and uh, that's going to be pretty significant why, why don't you just plug oh no you haven't got Xbox cinema have you I've got an Xbox yeah you still got Xbox yeah does it don't Xbox con- um, support it now when you just plug it straight in mouse and keyboard yeah but it depends on the game it's up to the game whether it supports it or not yeah, so COD you'll be able to, won't it? Put, put Black Ops 4 in, there's you. No, you don't have Black Ops 4. Pussy. What about the 2v2 mode? You know the name of it now, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, Gunfight. Um, 
know little else, but there's been another bit of gameplay footage that I've not yet had a chance to watch. Um, and on a, I don't know the name of the map, but it looks like... Uh, was it from Modern Warfare 1? Killing yeah. House. The map. Kill House. Kill House. Yeah, it was the first and only um, downloadable content for it. Right. It looked pretty similar to that, though. I guess it's... It's based off it. It's inspired by it. Um, uh, and that's about it for COD, really. Uh, nothing else, as, as it stands. Hopefully. Oh. Uh, uh, well, actually, another thing that I try to find is, is there going to be an um, open beta, and if so, when? And um, it's rumoured to be in August. How Ooh. true that is, I don't know. So but obviously, I'll have to pre-order it for that. Yeah, probably. Have you two got well, it pre-ordered no, already? The, yeah, like World War Two, they had a free thing, and you could play it, and then decide if you wanted to buy it. You didn't have to oh, pre-order course, it. Yeah. So I guess it would be in a similar vein. Though the the rumor of August is entirely based on how it's been before, and looking couple, at the couple months before. Yeah, looking at the release date and working backwards. So whether it's even going to happen at all, no one knows. I think I think they will do, because they they want to know the public's um, take on the new engine. It's also a really really good way to find bugs and issues. Yeah. You can do all the testing well, every, in the world. Every game does it. I don't know a game now, like a triple A game that doesn't do it anymore. Yeah. I, I, I've played every bit of the last two cards. So looking forward to that. It'll be Hopefully, it, we we'll will have it. Get 2v2 uh, out of the way there on beta. Yeah, actually, yeah, we could do oh, that. Yeah, we could. Get that 20 quid earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could. <laughs> <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> Anyway, everybody, thanks for listening. That'll be it. Until the next time.